Field pennycress is a winter annual oilseed in the brassica family that is being domesticated into a commercial crop by Arvigenics. Pennycress will grow as a cover crop over winter following corn and can be harvested early in the spring to allow the timely planting of soybeans. This allows the grower to generate incremental profitability from the pennycress cover crop in the corn soy rotation. Arvigenics has recruited leading growers to collaborate and help refine the pennycress growing system. It is important that the growers supply productive fields that are relatively free of winter annual weeds. It is also important to plant high quality lines of pennycress, which are improving every year from the Arvigenics breeding and genomics program. Pennycress commercial fields should be aerially seeded over standing corn, typically 15 to 25 pounds per acre, during the periods of August 15th to September 15th. Pennycress will germinate as rainfall incorporates the seed into the soil surface. By November, rosettes will form, providing a cover crop that will scavenge nitrogen and protect the soil from winter erosion. Over the coldest winter months, December through February, the plant is essentially dormant, but it continues to provide winter-long soil protection. In the early spring, as the soil warms, pennycress will bolt and quickly flower. After flowering, pods will form and the plant will develop 12 to 14 seeds per pod that contain more than 30% oil. A large, healthy pennycress plant can produce more than 10,000 seeds. Once the pods are set and seeds fully develop, senescence, or maturation, comes quickly and the plant goes into a drying phase. In this phase, the plant turns golden brown and acquires a crispness that is conducive to mechanical harvesting. Field pennycress harvesting is generally ready in late May, depending on latitude and weather. But we find that pennycress is always ready two to three weeks prior to winter wheat. Pennycress can be harvested with common Midwest combines, although a draper header is much preferred due to small seed sizes. All modern combines have adjustable sieves and blowers, which should be set typically to the smallest seed setting. Harvested pennycress should be loaded into a grain truck for prompt delivery to the seed storage and or processing facility. Although spring weather conditions will vary, harvested pennycress seed typically ranges between 14 and 16 percent moisture. Seed retained for reseeding the following fall can be dried with forced ambient air, making sure there is generous air movement and that blowers are running when air temperature and moisture are lower than the seed temperature and relative humidity. Seed stored long term as grain for crushing and oil extraction must be dried using heat or more extensive ambient air to reduce moisture to a target of 8%. This lower moisture prevents the growth of mold and pathogens over longer periods of storage. Pennycrest seed, like all oil seeds, will be processed, commonly referred to as crushing to extract the oil, leaving behind a press cake. Arvigenics has utilized toll crushing facilities to produce oil and press cake for its regulatory and developmental studies on animal feed and oil performance. Pennycrest oil is ideally suited for renewable biodiesel fuel, and the press cake, or meal, contains more than 30% protein, making it an excellent livestock feed. Arvigenics would like to thank its grower cooperators, aerial applicators, university researchers, seed cleaners, and storage providers, truckers, and testing labs for helping to develop the Pennycrest Optimum Growing System.